As of July 31st, 2022, there are 49 volcanoes actively erupting on the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is the often forgotten about Australian volcano known as Heard Island. Heard Island is a remote, albeit fairly large glacier-covered island which is 4100 kilometers southwest of the city of Perth. It contains two separate large volcanic cones which are connected by a narrow isthmus. The taller of these peaks is Mawson Peak, which represents the tallest point in all of Australia and has been continuously erupting since September 5th of 2012. Although it produces frequent minor explosive eruptions, the volcano most frequently produces lava flows which flow out of its main crater and down its glacier-covered slopes. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. On the border of Ecuador and Colombia, magma is moving underneath a volcano which has not produced a confirmed eruption in more than 10,000 years. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, the Rayung volcano produced a new explosive eruption, sending a plume of ash several thousand meters above its caldera floor. And, in Japan, the alert level of the Sakurajima volcano was raised to the maximum possible alert level. Sakurajima is the youngest vent of a massive supervolcano on the island of Kyushu known as the Ira caldera. This supervolcano contains a 19-kilometer-wide depression in the ground known as a caldera, which makes up the northern part of Kagoshima Bay and formed 29,000 years ago. While Sakurajima has produced very deadly eruptions during this time span, what occurred on July 24th was not very far-reaching. Sakurajima's eruptions have largely consisted of a series of so-called volcanian explosions, where a small plug of lava or volcanic material is cleared once every few hours, generating a large explosion and on occasion pyroclastic flows, while also ejecting boulders of rock up to 2,000 meters distant. Living around the volcano are approximately 4,500 residents, the closest of which would be placed at risk if volcanic ejecta was ever thrown more than 2,400 meters from its active crater. If this threshold was ever to be passed, it would trigger automatic evacuations and a raise to Sakurajima's maximum alert level. This is exactly what occurred at 8.05 p.m. local time on the 24th, as large boulders of rock were thrown 2,500 meters away from its active crater. Due to the potential of similarly large explosions, 51 people were evacuated, and Sakurajima's alert level was raised to 5. Luckily, only smaller explosions followed over the next several days, and the volcano's alert level was lowered back to 3. In Indonesia, the Rayung volcano in eastern Java rather unexpectedly erupted on July 27th at 5.19pm local time, sending a plume of ash to a height of 4,832 meters or 15,853 feet above sea level. Over the next nine minutes, a total of four phreatic explosions occurred. Intermittent ash emissions then continued for the next several hours, and small amounts of fine material fell on the city of Jember. This eruption did not involve any lava, but was triggered by a new intrusion of magma at a depth of 2.9 kilometers beneath the volcano. This intrusion could eventually reach the summit of Rayung, producing a Strombolian magmatic eruption, or it might stall below the volcano. Regardless, additional phreatic or magmatic eruptions are likely the next several days to months at Rayung, which now has a 3 kilometer exclusion zone. At the Cerro Negro Chile's volcanic complex, which straddles the border between Ecuador and Colombia, there has been a worrying amount of recent volcanic activity. As the name implies, this complex consists of two stratovolcanoes, Cerro Negro de Mayascaer to the west and Volcan Chile's to the east. Since May of 2022, the ground on the southern flank of Volcan Chile's and to the southeast of it has been pushed upwards at an unusually high rate of 10.6 centimeters a year due to the shallow intrusion of magma underneath the volcano. This directly and indirectly generated more than 17,000 earthquakes, the largest of which occurred on July 25th, registering in as a magnitude 5.6. In addition to this quake, heightened levels of hydrogen sulfide gas have recently been detected around several of the volcano's hot springs. As the uplift continues, the chance of an eventual eruption is becoming all the more likely. However, similar, albeit lesser intense earthquake swarms have occurred in previous years, and none of these resulted in a volcanic eruption. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. You may have noted that I added a new category, Slight Unrest. 
This indicates an unusual activity at a specified volcano which is generally not sufficient enough to raise its alert level, but still marks a deviation from normal volcanic activity and marks the lowest tier on my list. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Rena for supporting this channel.